I actually like the morning. I get my best work done in the mornings. Getting in when the when the uh, when the place opens is is pretty good. Bit of gym, and then go over a few things that uh, I have to get ready for the day. Like generally, I would prepare for the day the day before, but the stuff that I do first thing in the um, in the morning would be going over that, um, making sure that I'm I'm happy with where I'm at. Um, so yeah, no, it's it's vital. I, I would hate to arrive at the last minute, and uh, I just wouldn't feel ready. Nothing really prepares you for for head coaching until you actually have to have to do the job and because there's a there's a responsibility that ultimately lies with you and there isn't the time to spend with your head in the weeds um on the detail because you have other coaches to do that to do that area and certainly the role i have in ulster here is is yeah there are certain elements of the game that um that, that the detail is very important that, that i'm in the whole time but there's also a lot of facilitation um, and a lot of pulling together of other people's ideas and helping helping people to get on the same page. Um, and I think that's been a big uh, that's been a big learning curve for me over the the five and a bit years that I've been here. Okay, uh, I've had a few thoughts on this. I was slightly different, obviously, this week because we've got a match um, at the end. So we'll, we'll listen to what Tom's got, but it's very similar to what we did last week. Um, a little bit longer, so I don't know. Do we have any new plays that you want to? We'll meet with the coaches um, just before seven to chat through firm up selection, chat through the meetings, firm up um, training, and what we're what we're planning to do um, and how we're going to go about that. And then various conversations to have between then and the first meeting of the day with players. Also got growth club. This morning, doing some front row work. We've got got some uh, some good uh, good young front rowers in at the at the moment, so we're doing some work around scrum. Okay, just bring your feet really close together, and then getting down over the top without falling over. Get your feet as close to the wall as you possibly can, because the idea here is that you're concentrating on your core to be able to hold your keeping your, your backside nice and high, okay? Because you can still get forward when it's nice and high and it'll be easier to connect with uh, Andrew there. George, just My motivation as a coach when I first started out was built around the detail and I think that's often the case when, when players move into to coaching. Um, you know, I, I think I felt that the most important thing for me was to pass on everything I'd learned as a player in the technical aspect of the game to the people I was talking to and that was sort of the, the driving force behind it but um, you learn pretty quickly that that's actually not the most important thing and that, that uh, the actual ability to be able to pass on the information you have and, and um, so that people understand it is the most important thing. Now I had a bit of a, a leg up in the in the sense that I trained as a teacher. So, you know, I'd worked in, in classrooms as a special needs assistant prior to that. So had a bit of an understanding on on that that side of things. But I think originally, you know, you played a long time. Um, you consider yourself um, to have been uh, somebody who, who thought hard about the game and as a consequence it was the technical side of things. But you know, as I say, that moved on pretty quickly. Uh, I, I'll not be long, I've got a few clips here. You know, we've had a, um, we've had a really good pre-season in terms of um, innovation and thinking about stuff and talking with the players, trying to get the players um, involved in, in adding new stuff. World Cup's been brilliant for that because there's been a number of things in the, in the World Cup that uh, that have been really interesting. That'll be the team that that starts, um, and the guys that go to. Um, there may be a couple of adjustments um, around guys that, that that travel as well. Happy with that? Lovely stuff. That's that's all that. Thanks, guys. Thanks very much. skills today, a little bit of unit stuff, a little bit of prep for the game at the weekend, sun's out so there should be some crack.
jump on the back of um, Dan's meeting this morning around counterattack and how efficient and, uh, we can be with that, and then we'll get into it. We're also looking at, at, at moving on the way that we play. You know, I think last year we're, we probably got a, a little bit too structured in, in the way that we managed the game in the middle of the field. You know, that was down to, down, down to my leadership and the way that I directed us. And this year I want us to, not just me, the, the playing group and, and the coaches definitely want us to, to push forward and, and look at maybe a little less structured. And that's been exciting in the way that we've prepared. Why not stay real low, rip, off of the ball and then go. Good body positions we have there, fellas, from the forwards. It isn't about having to, to know the answer. That's, that's not it, it at all. I have lots of people around me who are experts in what they do. And I love the aspect that I have to be able to listen to them, um, whether they're coaches, whether in athletic performance, whether they're players whether it's Bryn in, in recruitment and, and operations, um, but listening to, to, to all those pieces of information and expertise, and then being able to coordinate those into a way that, that we can all work as a group and move forward. Uh, they, they, for me, those happen every day, and that, that, that needs conversations where I can ask the right questions, um, but also listen to, to the answers and uh, put all that information together and, and, and make decisions. Um, you know, I love that aspect of the job. Really good work there, looking up at the ball, making sure we're stopping two metres away. Yes! It's very easy in the job that, that we do as, as professional sports people to be driven by the wins and the losses. You know, you can't help but be really disappointed and down when you when you lose because your ultimate goal is always, is always to win. But um, for me, I have to be able to come in on a Monday and enjoy myself. I think for, for anybody doing, doing their, their job in professional sport, that would be the piece of advice. I would fi find a way to make sure that the process you go through are really enjoyable during the week so that you're not totally reliant on the wins and losses of the weekend. Well done, guys. Good stuff. Thank you. All good. Cheers, Roddy. Sunshine, pissing rain, freezing. I'm done. After work, I've come down here with Danielle, played a bit of tennis, Windsor Tennis Club. Been doing that for about a year now. They've been really welcoming down here, and I, I hadn't played in probably 30 years, but Danielle took it up a couple of years ago and, and persuaded me to come down and, uh, and run around a court and play tennis badly. But uh, no, it's, it's really good fun. I'll compete at anything um, and everything. Um, you know, it wouldn't matter whether it's, it's tiddlywinks or a game of Monopoly. Um, I'm, I'm all in on that um, and causes problems at, at home because Danielle's not the most competitive person in the world and Thomas is definitely. Um, Alex is pretty competitive as well so uh, we're, we're at each other's throats and, uh, and Danielle doesn't like that very much. My family plays a huge part in my downtime. Coming away from rugby and spending time with them is something that I've always really enjoyed. And not only that, but they've they've supported me through my career. But basically, I couldn't be where I am now without their support and, and, and love. To me, like everywhere I've been, people have made um, made us feel really welcome and, and it becomes your home. And, here is is no different. You know, re really happy. You know, know our neighbours well, and, and you know, uh, got good friends at work, and as I say, in the tennis club. So yeah, you know, that that really makes the home, doesn't it? I do I do feel that that over the last five years we've achieved a lot. You know, we, we do consistently compete for championships, but ultimately at the start of every year, you know, our goal is to win a trophy. And um, you know, I, I won't be, as I know none of the people that I, I work with uh, are ever satisfied if we don't win um, a trophy. Um, and, you know, we've set our, we've set our goals and our standards um, extremely high. Um, our expectations are that we will build towards that and, and, and hopefully we continue to put ourselves in a position where we can go on and, and win trophies. And you know, I genuinely believe that um, you know, when things go right for us and we get things right in, 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 a, in a season, we're, we're well capable of doing that. What a noise in front of the boys of 99. 
thing I love most about working at Ulster, I, I think how much it means to the whole place. You know, I know that it matters a lot to people. So I end up working with people that it matters a lot to and it matters a lot to me. You know, we, we have big goals here and we want to win trophies. And like, no matter how difficult that is, you know, if and when we manage to achieve that, it's, it's going to be pretty special. And it's special because it's special to a lot of people.